Here is an overview of the Manaslu circuit. Day 1. Arrive Kathmandu. You will be met at the airport by a representative and taken to your hotel. At the hotel, you will meet your guide and be briefed on your trek. Day 2. Kathmandu. Time to explore Kathmandu and soak in the incredible atmosphere of Thamal. Optional cultural tours of Kathmandu Valley and back to Pur are available. Day 3. Drive to Aragat. The journey to Aragat starts down the main Pakora Highway before taking a turn down a rough road. It is about a 6 hour drive to Aragat which is a large prosperous trading town. Day 4. Trek to Soti Kola. On our first day of the trail you head north following the Buru Gandaki. In this low country you are trekking through rice paddies and rural villages. After climbing briefly to Kaiorapani you descend once again to the river where it meets the Sundi Kola and our village for the night. Day 5. Trek to Machakola. You cross a bridge and climb up onto a ridge above the rapids of the Burugandaki. The trail continues climbing over a big rock crossing a log bridge before it eventually sends back down to the banks of the Burugandaki. You trek up again on a steep rocky trail clinging to the side of a cliff then up and around to the Gurang village of Ulibishe and beyond to Machakola. Day 6. Trek to Jagat, 1,440 metres. You cross the Macha Kola and head upstream to the tiny village of Kola Bensi and the hot springs at Tatopani. The valley becomes steeper and the route then switches to the left bank by way of a suspension bridge. The trail is quite exposed and challenging in places. After a short section of forest path, you reach the single tea house at Doan. Beyond this steep section, the route is much flatter and you will finally cross the river on a suspension bridge and then climb onto a high path to the fields of Jagat. Day 7. Trek to Ding. After descending a long series of stone steps to the river, you climb a terraced hill to Sugaleri, from where you can see Singri Hamal, 7,187 metres. Your route continues upstream through a gorge section with towering walls. You cross the river three more times in the next two hours to avoid difficult valley sides and then climb up over a further steep spur to reach the village of Deng. Day 8. Trek to Namrung. As you leave Dent, the valley is still steep-sided. You cross the village of Lama and start to see Mani stones, prayers etched onto wayside rocks, a sign that you are entering a Buddhist region. After about four hours, you reach the village of Gap in the Tibetan area. As you gain altitude, you move into alpine territory with great mountain views. There are more Mani stone walls and three more crossings of the Buru Gandaki on your route to Namrung. Day 9, trek to Shai Yaya. Above Namrung, the valley opens out and there are extensive pastures. Climbing gently now and crossing a large stream flowing down the Lindanda glaciers, you reach the Tibetan village of Sho and you get your first views of the Manaslu north and then of Manaslu main. As you continue, you come to Lo, a large village at 3,150 metres where there is a lovely little monastery and numerous chortons and manis before arriving at Xiaya. Trek to Samaguan. Leaving Xiaiaia, you follow the right bank of the river with views of Peak 29 ahead. As you continue on the main trail, you reach the fields of Samaguan. Day 11, trek to Samdo via Manaslu Base Camp. You continue to follow the Buru Gandaki, surrounded by spectacular mountains on all sides. Manaslu is particularly impressive and you take a detour off the main path to visit Manaslu Base Camp. From here you drop back down to rejoin the main route and climb steadily to the Larkila Pass, from which there are stunning views in all directions. Finally, you descend to Samdo for the night. Day 12, trek to Larkia Fedi at 4,460 metres. Today you hike along the ever-shrinking Budi Gandaki River with towering mountains around you. You will find a stream that runs through Gaya La, the gateway to Tibet and the remains of what used to be a trading hub back. Finally, you reach Larky Ferry and one of the best lodges you will have stayed in for many days. Day 13, trek to Bim Tang, 3,700 metres. Not long after leaving Larky Feda, you reach the northern face of the Larkia Glacier with great views of the Chodanda and Larkia Peak. You will then walk to Tanbushe and from there down to Bim Tang. Day 14, trek to Tilje, 2300 metres. Today you descend to Ngadi and Buli Buli, walking again through paddy fields before arriving at Tilje. Day 15, trek to Jagat, 2300 metres. Another day spent trekking the lowlands through mixed forest and paddy fields. Day 16, trek to Besi Sahar and drive to Kathmandu. An easy morning's walk brings you to the Besi Sahar before your final drive to Kathmandu, which takes about 7 hours. Day 7, depart Kathmandu. A representative will take you to the airport for your flight home.